Howdy folks, Ersine here. Um, I wanted to make another video describing the changes that um, have come with Retune for Live 1.0. I'm pretty excited about this because um, some pretty big, important, fun new changes are in the mix here. Um, so let's first drop a Retune for Live transmitter onto its own MIDI track and check it out. So all of these settings are now um, live num boxes, so everything saves with your session, which is great. Um, no more setting up once you fire up your session again. Um, it's all saved, as it should have been in the first place, but it took a little bit of doing to figure out. Anyway, um, so another change here is that I've got quarter tone and bull and pierce featured in the little drop down menu. Those are a lot of fun to play around with, so. I decided uh, I'd put them nice and easy to access right here. Um, another important change, um, probably the bulk of my work in the past month was spent making Retune for Live compatible with uh, Scala scale format, a .scl file. Um, so we'll load up one of those and see how that goes. And also I've changed the .txt file format to a .csv, just because I thought that that would be much easier to work with um, for anyone who's interested in customizing this thing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the main uh, bunch of changes. So let's uh, let's fire up a .scl file and see, what, see how that works. Um, let's just do an analog instrument. And we'll uh, drop the Retune for Live transmitter in front of it. I'll do three note polyphony. Group these tracks and click some boxes. All right. So now I've got. Um, oh, I gotta set my number of voices to three, and I will turn this up a little bit. Um, So equal temperaments coming out right now. Um, let's listen to quarter tone. Some crazy stuff there, um, but there's actually a lot of deep history in quarter tone tuning musicians in the Middle East have been using it um, with incredible uh, skill since the 17th century. So read the Wikipedia article about it if you want to mess around with some academic quarter tone stuff. Um, Bull and Pierce is another tuning that splits the tritive, which is an octave and a fifth interval, into 13 notes. Yeah, so that's a kind of a beautiful, exciting, completely different sounding tuning for you to play with. Um, I, I totally revamped the guts of the transmitter to allow for um, very different types of tuning, and um, so it should be a lot of fun for those folks who want to do some custom tuning too. So there's no limitations anymore on that, just audible and within MIDI note range. Um, so you can go nuts there. So here we go, let's load an SCL tuning file. I'm gonna make another video 
detailing how to make your own SCLs and um, how to make your own SC CSVs for Retune for Live. So check that out in the um, info below. But for right now, that's embarrassing. You all just saw my desktop folders. Anyway, so here we go. Um, this SCL folder contains more than 4,000 different tunings. Um, in the Retune for Live folder, I picked out a few that I really enjoy. Um, so let me just go to those because I don't want to just click on a random one. Here we go. Let's look at a, a Gamelon style tuning. So that's been a ton of fun to play around with because I am sort of passionately in love with Gamelon music. I could use probably a more appropriate sound to demo that, but yeah, so the .scl files fire up and map themselves to a MIDI keyboard. Um, one note on the SCL file per chromatic key, starting at your center note right here. You can adjust it up or down. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I want to do in this video, but I hope that you folks really are enjoying Retune for Live, uh, and please let me know what you think of it in the comments, or send me a, a message. I've included all my info, my contact info and stuff, and the README, also some expansive thoughts, sort of like a bit of a manifesto, if you care to read it, um, so check it out in the readme. Um, and yeah, all the best, or sign out.